Substitution method of solving systems of linear equations. So this is a, the one of the algebraic methods. So as opposed to graph, we're gonna use L, graphing, we're gonna use algebra. So here are the steps. You would isolate one of the variables in one of the equation. Note it's always easiest to pick a variable with a coefficient of one. So we're gonna strategize. We wanna make the work easy to substitute with. Substitute this equation into the second equation and we're gonna solve for the variable. Then you would substitute this value into the other equation to solve for that second variable. Then we'll verify as needed. So solve using the substitution method. So we have to either get x by itself or y in this equation, or we can choose the second equation and get x or y by itself. So since this has a coefficient of one, it's easiest to get that by itself because if I move this over, it's already isolated and I don't have to do any division. So it's easiest to move this over here and get x is equal to negative 2y plus 2. So now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this into the second equation. So we're going to substitute into the other equation. So what me, this means is that this is going to go in place of the x because x equals this value. So instead of writing an x, I'm going to write this. So it's going to look like this, 3 times negative 2y plus 2. So instead of writing an x, I substituted a negative 2y plus 2. Now, plus 4y and equals negative 4 stays there. And if you take a look, now in your equation, you only have the variable y. And as long as you have one variable, you can solve for that variable. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to multiply the 3 through the brackets and get negative 6y plus 6 plus 4y equals negative 4. We're going to combine like terms, so I get negative 2y plus 6 equals negative 4. I want to isolate y, so I'm going to move 6 to the other side, so negative 2y, so I'm going to subtract 6, so negative 4 minus 6 is going to give me negative 10. Then I'm going to divide off the negative 2, and y equals 5. Now, now we're going to find the um, x variable. You can use, so let's just maybe make a note of this. Now find x by substitution as well. So you don't want to start over. You don't, you're actually going to um, pick either equation. So now find x by substitution using either equation. So I'm going to put 5 in for y and that'll allow me to find x. I usually pick the equation that has sort of the least numbers in it or smaller numbers. So I'm going to choose the second equation. So if I choose x plus 2y equals 2, I'm going to plug 5 in for y. So I get x plus 2 times 5 equals 2. So I get x plus 10 equals 2. And then I can isolate x. So x is equal to negative 8. So my solution, you write x first. If it's not x and y, you use the smaller variables. Or if it's a word problem, then you would just write out the sentences. Negative 8 and 5. Now... We're going to verify just so that we know that we did this correctly. So to verify, you're going to verify it in both equations. So we have the equation 3x plus 4y equals negative 4. So I plug in negative 8 for x and I plug 5 in for y. So we're going to get negative 24 plus 20 equals negative 4 and negative 4 equals negative 4. Then... We're going to pick the second equation, x plus 2y equals 2. So we're going to just make sure that this is correct, negative 8 plus 2 times 5 equals 2. So we get negative 8 plus 10 equals 2, 2 equals 2. So then, yes, this is a true solution.